Okay, I'm back, and this is the sewing machine that I got, if you probably, you guys probably would know from the last video. Um, sorry for a different scenery, I'm at my mom's office. I figured out how to get it threaded and work it. So, let's start with the bobbin, because that's what I was having the most trouble with. I'm actually going to take everything off, and so I can show you guys how to thread it. Okay, so let's put the bobbin. Okay, so there was already a bobbin in it. There was already a bobbin in here. So what I needed to do was just knock it like that. And then it fell out. That wasn't a plastic piece that was stopping me from putting the bobbin in. So, um, um, let me get this out so I can show you how to thread it. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, you want to get, you want to get your bobbin. You want to make sure it doesn't have much of a tail, just a little bit. Whoa. So just a little bit of a tail. Then you want to put it in the little metal piece. And now... You want to bring your little tail and pull it under. And pull it under so it's in that little piece right there. Pull it cut out. And then you just put it back in the bobbin holder thingy. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, so there we go. There we go. So now what you want to do is you want to put it back in and under. I'll try to do it with one hand. You want to just put it in like normal. And this little metal piece right here needs to go top and then you need to pull this metal thing up. metal thing and then like just guide it guide it in to that little notch right there and just let it fall and then I like to cut the end a little bit so it's like in the middle piece and it doesn't get caught in the plastic let's get that little piece out okay now let's thread the top okay so up here we have this little piece I'm gonna get that brush out and then I'm gonna wipe it off um, the brush. Okay. Here's the little brush that came out of this container. Um, I'm gonna brush it off. It's a little bit of a mess right now. I've used it a lot because I love it. I want to take good care of it because it's my first one. Let's just wipe it off. Okay. it's most of it. Okay, so let's thread it. Um, you, need a, you can use a big spool or a little spool. I chose this black one. And then there's a white bobbin in here. And white and black are, threads are the standard for sewing. They're pretty normal. So let's just put this in here. Then this little piece comes with it. You want to put it on here, the same way you did with the bobbin. There's a little hole in it. There's a little hole in it. Just want to push it on there so it's nice and snug on the thing. You want to pull it out so it can turn a little bit. There. Now it can turn. Now what you want to do is bring it over here to this little metal piece, and it gives you little instructions like here's number one, and you bring it down to three. Down, I mean to two, to three, you go back, and then this right here, and you thread it through there. Okay, let's get started. Okay, where's the end? So here's the little end. You want to thread it through that little metal piece. Where is it? I need 
I'll grab it. I'm gonna use my left, my right hand. Okay. I'm gonna put it through there. And you wanna bring it back through here. This is your tension. And you wanna bring it down. Wait, what? Where's this, t this other end? Hmm, where's this come? Oh, just a loose piece. You wanna bring it down here. And you wanna go back up. You wanna go behind that little metal bar piece. Then it goes in there. Then you want to bring it back down. You want to get a, a little bit of thread to come down. I'm going to put some more back on the spool. So I don't have a bunch everywhere. My tension is a little tight. Okay, that's good. Okay, now we have a bit of a strand, and um, there's a little metal piece right here. That's where you it goes before it goes in the needle. So you want to bring it behind here. Bring it behind here, and then okay, behind. Okay, good. Wait, no, not good. There we go. Then you just want to bring it back into the front. See how it's in there? And you want to bring it back through the front, and then you want to thread it through the needle. And a bit of a strand. Can I go in? Um, I'm going to put the presser foot down for this. Almost in. I'm in it. But it's not wanting to go. Okay, I need to cut the end. Okay, my end is not frayed anymore. Let's thread it. Almost through. Yep, I'm through. There we go. Dang it, pulled it back out. Okay. Now you just want to pull it, and then you might want to just give it on the pedal. You might just want to give it a starter tap to get the stuff ready. And then you want to pull up your presser foot. Uh, you want to get something to sew on. I'm just going to use a piece of paper. Um might want to put this piece back on, just to make it easier, life easier. And then, you want to keep your area nice and clean. And let's get our paper. Crap. Dropped it. Let's just get another one. And then put it under the presser foot. Okay, there we go. So, now, over here is um, the stitches you can do. I am going to use just a normal stitch. And I'm going to put it on two. I'm going to use the normal one. Where is it? Right there. Here's the normal. Then up here is the length. This one, I'm not, I'm still getting used to it. Um, how it works and stuff. Like, so... I think it's like, okay, so here's the stitch. So say if it's on one, it'll just move a little bit. If it's on two, it'll move just a, it'll move just a little more like over here. If it's on like three, it'll be like right over here. Just like, I don't know. And then the width over here is like, it shows you what it means by width. How like, if I'm using the zigzag stitch, that's what it will look like. Over here is your tension. This is like how tight it is. Like, so my tension's pretty... Well, it's not bad. I like to keep it around in th around a three or a two. I recommend a three though for a nice tight stitch. And now to start sewing, your presser foot is probably all is up. You want it down. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, so now what you want to do is um, you want your pedal controls how fast you go. So it's just like a car. The harder you press, the faster it goes. 
So what you want you don't want to press on it too hard or else um, everything will fly everywhere. You just want to sew like normal. Okay, when you're done, you have two options. Well, first you gotta lift up the presser foot. Um, you can either use the thread cutter that's up here, but it leaves a really long strand down here, so I don't really recommend using it. I use my scissors most of the time to cut it down here, but just for the sake of it, I'll just use the thread cutter. Okay. And Dang it. There we go. It does leave quite a tail though, and you don't want that on your next project, so I'm gonna just snip that off. A little bit of a waste though. So, uh, that's gonna come off. That's gonna get on. Okay. There we go. So that is how you use the Singer Traditional. Um, now let's play around with some of the other stitches. To get another stitch, you just want to turn this till you find the one that you like. And you m might see this blue one. It gives you the right settings for it. So instead, you have to. It, you don't just do this and go to it. You have to go up here and go to this part right here. Um, let's just use this stitch right here, that right there. So, let's just get our paper or your um, fabric or whatever you're using. Um, when your needle's like that, when your needle is stopping you from putting your stuff in, you just want to use this little wheel over here to make your needle go up and down. Oh, I forgot to go over this. This is the bobbin winder. I don't know quite how to use right how, how to use it yet. But I'll make a video on that later. So, and this is the reverse. Like if you mess up and you need to go back, you can, instead of it going this way, it'll go back. It'll come this way towards you. So what you want to do for the stitches, okay, we got it set. So now you just need to sew like normal. And um, you don't, when you're controlling how fast the, this is going through, you don't want to um, go... You don't want to use your hands to stop it or um, make it go, or else it'll just make a huge rip in your paper or fabric. Oh, wait. Lips. See? Even I make mistakes. It came on threaded. Dang it. Oh, crap. Here we go. Uh, this does happen. It does happen, where it gets all bunched up in there. It does happen, see? That does happen if you go, if you do, if, if you don't put your presser foot down, it's gonna, it's not, it's, you're gonna have a bad day. So, we have to re-thread it now. Pull it through the back like that. Okay, it's good now. Switch hands with the phone. Okay. Dang it, it came out. Almost there. Crap. Okay. Okay, so it's back there now. There we go. Okay, it's hooked on in the back there, like we said. Now we just need to thread it through the, um, thing. I think we need to cut this. Okay, that's good. Let's put it through the needle. Dang it. You, you can make this job a lot simpler by just going to the store and getting a threader for like two cents. That's what it feels like. Okay. 
Why is that not going? Oh wait, oh crap, this is gonna... No, we don't want it to go. Oh, let's get pull out some. Okay, there we go. Put down our pressure first, just to make our life easier. Okay, there we go. It's through now. Okay. It's through. Sorry if um, my fingers are in the way. Or my arm is in the way. Okay. Put up our presser foot. Let's put our fabric or paper or whatever you're sewing on in. You can sew on... You can sew on canvas, you can sew on fabric, you can sew on paper. This thing will go about, I guess this thing will go through, like, about anything. Um, it'll go through, like, eight stacks of these papers. Of the, like, eight pieces of these papers together. But I don't want to risk ruining my machine, I just got it. Okay, so I snip the ends. Don't want to go too fast. Why is nothing happening? <laughs> okay, I think there's something wrong with the bobbin. Yeah, something's off with the bobbin. It might be out. Oh, I think it's just a little too small. For it to catch on. Oh crap. I accidentally just cut it. <laughs> Instead of using them like tweezers, I cut it on by accident. So we just need to pull it out. Okay, the black thread's in there, but white thread's not doing anything. Okay, so... Got our white thread. Okay, so that's in there. Okay, let's just. Okay, I'm gonna like snip this really down here. Okay, let's try it then now. Okay. Um, just give it just a starter tap. There we go. Okay, I gotta do something. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. That stitch there. This, uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Okay, it's stitching now. Almost through. Okay, it's through. I'm gonna cut the end. Okay, and that's what it looks like. It, this sewing machine is awesome. This is really a this is a really good beginner sewing machine. I've been sewing for just a little bit now. I haven't sewn anything much. I've made pillows. I've hemmed a little bit of clothes. That's it. But this thing can do way more than that. So this is a great machine. Like, it's not even all that beginner. Like, this this was a $130 machine. Some of them cost, like, $1,000. But a $1,000 one probably can do this. Does this, too. This you don't need this you don't need a lot of money to get a good sewing machine. Just look into how what people other people other people say and go to a trusted store to buy it. Um thank you all for watching the part two video. Bye.